In this class, we'll take one more problem on pointing theorem. Let's try to understand the problem first. It is being given that there is an electric field which is 10 cos omega t minus pi y z. Now, if you observe, it is propagating in plus y axis, right? And the variation of electric field is along the z axis. Now, we have to find the average power crossing a circular area of radius. It means it is nothing but if a wave is propagating, it is hitting a circular area, right? And what is the average power across that, right? Let's understand this. It is something like this. If the wave is going like this, if it is hitting a circular area, of some radius, let's say 12 meter, what would be the average power across this circular area, right? Let's try to solve this problem. In order to solve this problem, what we know for a lossless medium, because if you observe, it is if I compare this question with my basic equation of electromagnetics, where E is given by E naught, e to the power minus alpha z cos omega t minus beta z. Remember the basic equation? It is nothing but A x cap. This was the basic equation which we have already seen in the previous video. If I compare this, can I say that alpha is 0 here, right? Because if you observe here, the alpha is 0. Alpha is 0, it means this is a, a lossless medium. This is a lossless medium where loss will be zero or indirectly I can say that the free charge carriers would be zero in that medium. Let's solve this. We know that for a lossless medium, P would be given by E naught square by 2 eta, right? But it is being asked the average power crossing a circular area. We have already seen how to do this in the previous videos, it would be nothing but into the area that would be given by S. So, it is a circle. What would be the area of a circle? The area of a circle would be nothing but pi r square. What is r in this case? It is 12 meter. So, it would be pi into 12 square. This would be my S. Let's substitute the values. So, what would be E naught here? E naught the map, it is the amplitude, right? It is nothing but 10 by 2 as we are talking about a lossless medium eta will be how much for a lossless medium we already know that eta will be nothing but eta for a lossless medium how we know that eta is nothing but root over mu naught by epsilon naught for a free space which ultimately comes out to be either you can say 120 pi or 377 ohm right this will be eta so if i substitute here let me substitute as 120 pi right so, this will be 10 square, right? Because the amplitude is 10 and it is 10 square into the area is pi r square, which is nothing but pi into 12 square. If I simplify this, If I simplify this, this is nothing but this will go. So, this will become 10, this 10 will go, right? So, if I simplify this, this will 10. Now, this will become 6, right? So, and pi will get cancelled. So, this will be nothing but 60, right? So, I will rub this. So, this will be nothing but 60. And what is the unit in this case? We are talking about the unit of this quantity, if you refer, the unit of this quantity is watt per meter square, but you are multiplying with area. So, watt per meter square into meter square, the area unit of area is meter square. So, it would be nothing but watt. So, we have concluded the answer of this question.